Hi, my name is Atish Roy. I'm working at TJ Software Solution. Today, I am going to show you how to integrate with Google Sheet through Google. So, Google Sheet is a spreadsheet application included as a part of the free web-based Google Docs editor suite offered by the Google. So, let, now let me show you the process how to integrate with Google Sheet through Google. So before integrating with Google Sheet through Google, we have to create one application here to get the client ID and client secret. So we will navigate to the URL console.google.cloud.com. Now we will go to a new project. New project, we will give the new project name here. Like I'm giving TikTok, Google, project we will just create so our project is successfully created now let me select the project take the membership project now we will navigate to OAuth from this Here we will choose external. No, we can give any name. So I am giving the name Google. Now here we have to give support name. So I am giving my mail ID. Not developer content. So here also I have given my own mail ID. Now save and run. Here, if you want to add scope, you can add it. Otherwise, I have to save and cut. Now here, test is at users. So you have to the mail ID from which we will get the consent from Google. So here I'm giving it. Okay. So it is set to seven control. So this is done. Now we have to navigate to credentials. Now create credential worth client ID. Here we have to choose application type as wave activation. Here we can give any name. We can give it Google. Again, now authorize JavaScript project. So here we will keep as HTTPS platform.google.com because we are navigating it from the book. Now authorize data active. So here we are given platform account slash our account ID. Or to slash call. Now we will create it. So we will get here client ID and client secret, which we will use it in the Boomi to get access to it. So before moving on to Boomi, I have created a spreadsheet of student, which will consist of student ID, student name, student locations, and student marks. So now let me show you the Google process how to integrate with it. So this is my Google process. I have used touch of no data. Now then I will use Google Sheet Connector. So in the Google Sheet Connector, I am creating it because I am sending the data to the Google Sheet from Google. So here you can see we have passed client ID, client secret and access token. So if we pass client and client secret, then we will click on generate. So a new term is open like this. So as a given 
this mail ID, the test view. So I click on this. So like here it will come, Google hasn't verified this app. So if you will go to continue, we will trust this process. So we have received the authorization code. To access token generation successful. No, we will close this connection. Now we'll go. So in the operations, we will go to input operation. So in the atom, we will choose our atom. Now spreadsheet ID. So we'll get the spreadsheet ID from the spreadsheet. So this is my so this is my spreadsheet ID. I will just copy paste it. Our first row is consist of headers. So I check this box and initial column is starting from A. And the last column which I want to put it is D. So then I will click on next. So we'll import new object. We'll choose record data. So we will select record data and click on next. So you can see our profile is successfully created. Click on finish. Now save and close. Now we'll go to parameter section. So in the parameter section, first we'll select student ID and pass the value. Let me pass a value with one zero one. Then we will go to location, Kolkata. We will pass the value like student mark, student name, and also the spreadsheet ID, which will get it from there. Now let me click on OK. And now let me test the process. So you can see process was successfully executed. Now let us check it the Google Sheet. You can see Google Sheet has 101, so Karma card, Kolkata, and 70. That is how we can integrate with Google Sheet. Thank you.